Hello, welcome to Meow Kitchen. Today we're going to make Verzum Mutley Paisa or Save Me a Paisa or Kheer. Yeah, or Kheer. That is one and a half cups of roasted vermicelli, two tablespoons ghee, then sugar as per taste. 7 to 8 cashew nuts and the same for raisin. Then cardamom seeds of you like 4 to 5. Then 3 to 2 cups of water or as, or as required. <laughs> then 1 can of condensed milk. Let's roast our cashew nuts in raisin. So in a small bowl or pan, you will add what, two tablespoons of your ghee, and then you add your seven to eight cashew nuts and raisins. And you know when the raisins are ready, when it puffs up into a, like a ball. And, and what about the cashew nuts? Mm -hmm. They turn golden brown in color. That's correct. So this adds a lot of flavor, the, the taste of the ghee and the cashew nuts and the raisins will add a lot of flavor to our semia payasam and we usually keep it ready so that we can add it in the end. And when you add it, it should be cold, not hot. It's alright if it's hot but you know, first things done then you can just concentrate on the payasam. So, and it's ready. So in a deep, pan, yeah, a deep bottom vessel. Add two, two to three cups of water, and let it boil. And why are we boiling the water? So we can cook our vermicelli. Yeah. So some people cook vermicelli in milk. Since we are using condensed milk, we can boil the water and cook the vermicelli using water yeah. and the water is boiled and now let's add the vermicelli and that is only one and a half cup yeah because this quantity is sufficient for three to four people and if you want you know if you have more people at home then definitely increase the quantity of all the ingredients that we are adding in this recipe and we're going to add one more cup of water because we both feel like it should have more to cook. Yeah, because I feel that the vermicelli is not that cooked. So adding more water. So I'm adding one cup of water. So always water, the quantity of water depends upon the vermicelli that we use. So if you feel that, okay, you need some more water to cook and then you can always add water. And when you cooked it, the vermicelli should be like roasted and if it didn't, there will be starch and it will be sticky so you don't want that to happen. That's a very good point. So always use roasted vermicelli and now we are adding one can of condensed milk. And since we are adding condensed milk, there is no need for adding milk. Yes. And, and sugar. Sweet. Yeah. But you know, it depends upon how sweet you want your bison to be. So if you feel that the sweetness of the condensed milk is not enough, you can always add sugar. Which we did. Yeah, we did. Because you have a sweet tooth. And uh, we can see that the bison is getting ready. And you have to add your cardamom seeds for lots of flavor. Yeah, that's true. And we love the flavor of cardamom. It's delicious. So now we have to add a roasted cashew nut and raisin with the ghee. And mix everything well. And this definitely will boost the 
flavor of the biosome and you can even feel the aroma of the ghee and the cashew nuts and the raisins when it's mixed with the biosome and it's amazing so let's check and I think the sweetness is not you know as per your taste I don't think the sweetness is right yeah, so we are going to add two tablespoons sugar, but that is op optional because there is sugar in our condensed milk. Yeah, so as said before, add it as for your taste. And enjoy your python. Thank you for watching Jesus with our channel Meow Kitchen.